Um, I'm getting ready to do a cleanse, a detox and everything like that. So I wanted to kind of see where I am now and then maybe come back to you after I do a cleanse and see what kind of results that I experience once I do the cleanse. Yeah, so if your body is cleansed, mm -hmm. everything absorbs so much better. Exactly. That's, I've seen that over and over again, that the people that scan and they do cleansing regularly, their numbers are really high. Yeah, what's the highest number you've seen? I've seen personally 90,000. Wow, yeah, that but, is high. But the numbers can go as high as 200,000. It really? Has to. It's just dependent on what's in your skin. It's the detection of these antioxidant molecules in your skin. And skin normally takes 60 days for whatever you put in your mouth oh. before it ends up in the skin. So maybe I should so, come back in two months after my exactly. detox. Two okay. months, because you know, you heard of skin cells renewal like 60 to 90 days, completely, okay. completely renewed. So if you change the eating habit, okay. it will be seen in, in oh. you know, after 60 days. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I want to see where my kids are too. Yeah, and what go, You want to go first, China? Um, All right, let's see what you got. Does she need to wash her hands? No, I have a hand sanitizer right here. Okay, so. cool. Okay, so Megan, what's your last name? Oh, I mean H. So anyway, Megan, how much uh, fruits and vegetables? Do you like fruits and vegetables, first of all? Okay, good. And how many cups per day would you say you eat in fruits and vegetables? I have no idea. So if one smoothie is four cups that we have, and you have two smoothies a day. It depends on how much fruit you put in that smoothie. I'm, I'm looking at fruits. Oh, yeah. fruits? Yeah, fruits? Ooh, maybe about four to five cups of fruits a day, and then maybe about, oh gosh, I don't know how many vegetables we eat a day. Maybe about four to five as well. Maybe three. Wow. Yeah, we do pretty good. We do like green smoothies a lot, and we drink like 48. Oh, everybody in the family? Yeah. Uh, wow, not me as good. I'm, yeah, not. I'm the, I'm the black sheep. I'm converting my grandma. <laughs> I'm converting my mom. So that's what I wanted to see is in two... Look at her score. This is why she's so good. 54,000. Look at the screen. Yay, 54,000. She's in a good zone, okay? Let me explain to you what each color zone. means. Okay, okay so yeah. Come, come look at the screen for Okay, let's see. Let me go see that. Okay. This score, if you eat less than two servings a day of fruits and vegetables per day, you're likely to be in red. Okay. And a serving is about half a cup. Okay. okay, so less than two servings is like less than a cup. Oh, maybe I'll be orange. Okay. <laughs> orange is two to three servings, cup, cup and a half. Hmm. Typical American diet are all in this range right here. Yeah. Okay. In the, in the yellow, you, you're doing better if you're here. It's about four to five servings a day of fruits and vegetables. And then here is six to nine, here's nine or more. Yeah. So that's why when you said she's doing four or five cups, I'm like, oh, she's going to be here. So it's really accurate. Wow, so 54,000. 54, you are a star. They paid off all those smoothies wow. I make for you. Yeah. Let me show you. This is the food pyramid, right? And everyone knows that a while back, everyone here, five a day, five a day, fr fruits and vegetables serving, right? Mm -hmm. No one ever did that anyway. So about three and a half years ago, they, they upgrade the vegetable and the fruit category on the food pyramid. You have to eat two and a half cups of vegetable, two cups of fruits, and we talk about a serving size is half a cup. That would be nine servings. Oh yeah, we're way over that. You're way over that. So that's why nine servings would get you in the blue. So on this test, we've done over 12 million scans. And so we know less than two would be here, two to three, four to five, six to nine, and nine or more. Mm. So it, it's based on this recommendation. Okay. But you know, the USDA, it's mm -hmm. very conservative. It's yeah. not going to tell you to eat 20 servings. So, you know, I would say for really good health, I would try to get way past yeah, 50,000. We want to go and start doing a lot of more vegetable juicing. And that's what we'd like to do and see how incorporating lots of green vegetable juices yes. bumps that up. What would you say the average um, color you see when you're scanning people? Right here. 75% <gasps> of Americans fall that's, right here. That's probably where I'm at. Oh, wow. And this is why we're in trouble as, yeah. a, as a country. We're, you right. know. That's why I wanted you? to do this. Where are you? I'm right there. Yep. Kind of in between. That's good. But I don't eat like you guys. I eat 
about two to three servings a day, but I take a supplement. Yeah. I take a supplement that actually absorbed. And that's the problem with the industry. There's really no proof mm -hmm. that any products actually were absorbed unless you take a blood test, which is really expensive to do anyway for, for antioxidant blood tests. So this test is really cool. So this has to do with the antioxidants? Yeah, it's, this is measuring antioxidants. So oh. with a lot of fruits and vegetables, that's the one category that everyone lacks. People eat too much protein, right. I gotta you know, stick, too much I gotta stick my lousy hand under the Oh, mom can't wait. So mom, this is the good thing, is knowing is half the battle. Yeah, yeah. you can't change what you don't acknowledge. I know that. Yeah. Well, aren't you glad we came and did this? Yes. Let me have you right. Um, just gonna wash it a little bit. Yeah, you know, anything that has to do with anything has to be measurable. Science has to be measurable. If it's not measurable, then it's not considered science. Yeah. You know, just like cholesterol or any test that we take for our health, we know there's a good zone and there's a bad zone. Cholesterol, we know under 200 is good, right? And blood sugar, I don't know about blood sugar, but there's certainly like, I don't know, 100 or I don't know what it is exactly that's good. But um, so we do know these things. And so having a measurement tool is really cool. And nutrition is not something that anybody can measure. Think about it. There's nothing to measure that's nutrition. They yeah. can measure or cholesterol, anything. can measure weight, can measure your PS, uh, PSA, your, you know, anything that has to do with health, they can yeah. measure. Yeah. But not nutrition. Yeah. And that's, that's what this really is doing. That's why they don't operate from that angle because they don't. Yeah. They don't. Yeah. They're focused on disease, not and on prevention. optimal health. Yes. Yeah. What kind of health is definitely this? 32,000, which you're, is not bad. You're higher Sorry. than you thought you would be, Joy. Mom. Most Americans are right here. So I'm just a tad above most Americans. But hey, and considering what good. you eat, you're doing all right. Okay. I'm actually proud, Mom. I was scared. I thought yours was going to be red. So your score is 32,000. 32,